Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Kiwi and Bacon here. Now, this morning I decided I was going to play a brand new Death Rattle Rogue that was created by a player named Starfruit. Uh, and apparently, he managed to make it to top one legend with this deck. So, uh, we know he's pretty good. And, well, uh, me and my kitty are going to be playing this deck on the ladder. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Hopefully, it's some fun. And maybe you'll climb a couple ranks with this too, since it's so good. Um, before we do anything, though, of course, we gotta jump, ju you know, jump into a game here. But I also wanted to mention that, like every week on the channel, we're gonna have a giveaway on Sunday. I'm gonna be giving away a couple card packs to some of you guys. Um, all you have to do to participate in that giveaway, uh, which the main part of the giveaway is gonna be these seven card packs and I, I'm gonna have a couple gifts for people that join us on the stream but if you can't and you still want to gain some card packs all you've got to do is subscribe leave a comment letting me know why you should win some packs and of course I'll enter you in the draw for those you can also tell your friends maybe they would like to get some packs as well um, you know that's always pretty helpful and of course it helps the channel grow so thank you for being here and for telling your friends to join now we must play Starfruit's Death Rattle Rogue. Now, you will notice that there is a card that I do not have, and that is a second Void Ripper. Um, I don't have enough dust for it. I didn't think I was going to need uh, ever a second Void Ripper, but a yeah, Void Ripper is pretty good. Um, but instead, I replaced it with a Myra, uh, because while we're playing a Death Rattle Rogue deck, I thought Myra was quite interesting. Um, if you don't have Myra, please play the Void Ripper version. It was just uh, something I wanted to test out, but uh, so far it's being uh, pretty good to me. Right, Kitty? Oh, yes. Alright, so, Mulligans. Um, we're playing against Mage, he's probably going to be aggressive, so we want uh, Shiny Finder, Firefly, Egg, Backstab, or Eviscerate. Eviscerate is most likely super important here so i will keep it okay we get the mince okay this isn't so great um okay with the necrium vial in hand it's definitely not great the cool part about necri uh, necrium vial is that later in the game if you do have a death rattle minion that sticks you're gonna have a good time i'm gonna keep this in um again keep in mind this is supposed to be a void ripper um, oh hi there that is interesting i don't know what to play here i think i'm just gonna firefly and because he's gonna have spells right so we're just gonna it's got three you know pretty good stats and all. i'll just kill it for now just wait i will keep the flame elemental for turn five double draw with the minstrel Okay, apparently that this is a thing that he really wants to do. Um, I feel like I can just sap this, but I don't want to, so I'll just kill it. Um, Here we go. This is a bit annoying. There's obviously better targets for sap. Um, well, again, there's also better targets for eviscerate, but... I don't know what he's playing, because this is interesting. This is the first time I ever see this card being played. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Sure, let's do it. Um, so, I can play the Flame Elemental and Elven Minstrel. I don't know it's... I don't, know, I don't really think it's good. Um, this is interesting. Or I could just play Myra. But he could just kill her. Nah, let's just go for Myra. Let's see what we get. Um, okay, let's go with a Shallow Gravedigger. So this is now a 4-2 Shallow Gravedigger for two more. It's not worth it. But we also drew a card. Eh... Don't really like this. Starlight. Oh boy, I'm gonna take a billion damage face, that's for sure. Wait, maybe not. That is bad. That is really bad. 
Um, okay, cool. So I can attack this, attack this. Then we can sap. Okay, then we can sap the 5-5. Five five. Play the Minstrel. And we get a whelp. The whelp is going to be incredibly useful to us. Uh, I don't believe I will play it next turn. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have to play that blade. Yeah, I'm going to play the blade. That is fine. So. Okay, let's go for the blade. Uh, we're Here we go. kill this. I'm gonna cold blood. Kill this. I'm gonna put this down because he's most likely going to kill it. Because what I want to happen is to play the whelp. Um, and next turn I can whelp prep into Necrium Vile to put down an insane amount of seven sevens on the board but to do that i need to get the grave digger to die i just wanted something on the board and he's going for the ping so that was a good play neat oh he's not gonna let me do it well that's fine that is fine i've got the whelp and i've got the prep necrium vial that is one of the better plays we got a bunch of 7-7s. Seven uh, if he kills it, we can get some more. I really, really don't know what his deck is all about. It seems to be like a spell damage deck type thing. Um, okay. So he's going to get a fireball. Free fireball. Keep that in mind. Okay, um, so now, of course, we could kill him, but I think I'm just going to attack here because he could, for some reason, have a fireball somewhere. I don't want that to happen. So instead, I'm just going to make an army of giant dragon dudes and draw. Strong is pretty good. So, can you defeat my army? Can you somehow manage to defeat my army or deal 17 damage to me in one turn? I doubt it. You win. There we go. Okay, so he couldn't. <laughs> Man, do I like dragons. Well, they're max, but they're still dragons. In my books. Right, Keter? Oh, you guys should see what she's doing right here. She's just she's just right there. She's just laying down on the desk. Just looking at me playing Hearthstone. I don't know why she likes Hearthstone so much. Maybe she just wants the pets. But I feel like she enjoys Hearthstone. She enjoys, you know, being able to watch me just defeat my opponents. Right, Kitty? Yeah, oh, you're so cute. I guess that is a selling point for my video. I've got a cute cat. You guys can watch her. Watch your back. Yeah. All right. Don't want this. He's playing Warlock. Don't know what type of Warlock he's playing, but I'm going to go for Zulok. The backstab is interesting. Leroy Coldblood. Eh. It's just in there to do some extra damage later. Okay, never mind. So basically, he's playing um, a, a control deck, sort of. Okay, here's a shiny finder. I will play it. It's actually pretty cool to have shiny finder here. He does a lot of work. He's probably going to be able to drop down a giant next turn. 
Um, I'll just play the blade. He's down to 21, so... We're, we're, we'll, we'll get him real soon. There's the giant. Alright. So I have no real problem here. Right? I can um, backstab. I mean, do I mind taking... I, I don't mind taking 8. That's not too big. I want to draw. I don't mind taking 8. This is somewhat okay. I mean, it could be better. Right, Kidder Catter? It could be better, but taking eight is not too terrible. Okay, Doomsayer is here. Oh, Void Ripper. Oh, Void Ripper. Oh, boy. Hello. Say hi to my Void Ripper. Um, so this is a thing that happens. It's actually pretty good. Um, and then we'll just put some more damage on and uh, put the pressure. He's going to need to clear the board really soon. And then I can put down a whelp next turn. Use my weapon. Yeah, there you go. Hellfire. This is uh, down to the wire. Or I could just win. <laughs> so there's multiple ways to win this game. And uh, this deck actually works pretty dang well. There you go. I appreciate that. 